Hello everybody. This video is on adding food or drink menus to your page. Now this example we happen to have a motorcycle shop. So we actually might have a cafe out front that uh, we serve sandwiches or food or drinks and you might want to add a menu to your page. So the first thing you're going to go into menus are first tabs like all the rest. Uh, you can change the header image, the uh, banner title, the title here, and of course your content. And we do have a SEO, or sorry, a um, AI rewrite for some of this to give you suggestions, or you can write your own. The next section, and we'll go into menus. Now, in this case, it was a motorcycle shop, so we don't have a default menu. But if you, say, fired up a company website for a pub or a bar, you might all have menus here that you can alter. So we do have a preset, so we're going to pick something here. And probably applicable for this one would be a cafe menu, something to start with. So we're going to import this in. And right away, it gives us a full cafe menu that we can go alter, change things around, do whatever we want with it. So there is a header image for this. And this image is only used if you have multiple menus. So if you have a restaurant, you might have a drinks menu, a starters menu, a mains menu, a dessert menu. That's when these images come into play. If you just have a single menu, it's not going to use it. When you go to the page, it's just going to load up your menu. So you have items all here, so you can swap these around if you want to actually display in a different order. Uh, you can actually go in also and delete what it might not be applicable for you guys. Or you can go down and pick a individual preset. So on top of picking just a full menu, you could add something to this, say, uh, desserts. Okay, so we don't have that one, so it'll add desserts at the bottom. And like I said, you can swap these around. Okay, so how this menu system works is, like I said, if you have a single menu, it is not using any of this here. It's just actually so you can um, use it if you have multiple menus. When you go into a menu item, uh, you can go in and edit this. Now, the menu item has all sorts of items, everything that you would have in here. So um, you can also tell it that um, your full menu might be just a drinks menu and you won't have any of this stuff up here. Uh, this is mainly for a food menu. So any of these that you want to alter in here also, you can just actually go in and turn them off, turn them on if you're not using them. Maybe you're, you're not doing, say, scrambled eggs with salmon because you're actually having a problem getting the deliveries in. So you could actually just turn this one off. You don't have to delete it. It won't show to the users. And then when stuff is back in stock, you can turn it on. Uh, like I said, you can swap any of these around as well. And if you want to go in and alter them, everything's up here. So you have your title, which is up in here. Dietary needs. So maybe this is a gluten-free item. And uh, of course, your um, description of this. Now, you don't have to have the description in here. You can actually get rid of that. Uh, and then you have three price options. Now, I'm going to get back into this. I'm actually just going over um, actually having um, your preset menus that we built for you. Let's go create something. Actually, let's look at this first. So I'm going to go um, back out here and let's go to the live website and we have our menu up here. Now, like I said, because I only have a single menu, it's going to bring this menu directly up. And this is going to give you all the stuff that you have in your menu. And because it's a food menu, it's going to have a nice message down here about saying allergies or whatnot. Let's go back into the admin area. Okay, so we'll go back to our menus. So we already have one menu here. So um, let's just go delete this menu altogether. And we're going to start from scratch. Let's just build, say none of these presets, you already know what you want. You want to just build your own menu. So the first thing that you're going to get is, of course, 
a new um, title screen. So this is, like I said, if you have multiple menus, you don't have to, um, you will need an image for this. If you just have a single menu, you don't have to worry about this image or this title. So the way this works for adding new menu items, and we did say that there's presets here. So if you need, if you wanna start off with something just a little easier, your first thing might be sandwiches or something. And we might actually have this in here. Uh, yes, let's see, sandwiches. No, so we don't have that, but salads or whatnot. We, we have a whole bunch of different stuff. So we're gonna add a new menu item. Now, what you're going to see in here is you're going to get the title of the, um, uh, the menu itself, and we could have drinks, and we could put a description of this menu in here, or not, it can just show up as drinks, or you can have a description saying, hey, we have you know new Cascales coming every week, check this out. The second section, or the bottom section here, which is option one, option two, option three. Now, these are all generic, so we don't actually know what sort of menu you're gonna have. So this might be, and you can see down here in the description, the last one might be a bottle price. Uh, the other one might be, um, you know, 400 millimeter glass, uh, bottle price, that should be a capital. Uh, capitalize that. And the first one, maybe we just have a, um, well, let's just have two for now, but you have an option of having three. So we're gonna go save that. And that gives us our new drinks menu, somewhere to start from. So if we go into our drinks menu, you'll actually see that now we have our first price, our second price. Now this is just for editing, don't worry about that. Um, and if you were using all three, you'd have that. So when you go into here, and now we wanna add a new item. So we might have, let's just put new item. And this is a drinks menu, so we don't need any of the dietary. And maybe we can have a description of our new item in here and a price for say the small and a price for the large. And as soon as I save this, it's gonna give us our new item, a description of this, our prices per uh, size or per bottle. Uh, so it is very easy to add your own, but like I said, um, you know, let's just go out and let's bring in some good presets. So let me just go delete this one really quick. And let's say we need to fire up something for our cafe or restaurant. So let's just go bring in a cafe menu and we'll import this in. And there's our cafe menu. And automatically it's live because we've sort of got everything in there. If you're not ready to show it yet, just turn it off. And next we'll pull in, say, a um, dessert menu. So we have a cafe menu and a dessert menu. So we'll bring these in, that's all good. You can edit that to whatever you want. Okay, we have our two menus. Let's go now and look at the website. So because we have two menus at this point, now we have categories. So you can go into your dessert menu or you can go back out to the main menu and you can go into your cafe menu. So they're all very easy to set up. Um, everything is very simple. Now, um, like I said, there's the three selected categories of what you have. You might not need that. You might just have one price. You might not have a small size and a large size. So you don't need to add those in. Um, in this case, uh, there's just one price. But as we slide down, you might have something with an espresso menu and you wanna have a small and a large instead of like 400 mil and a bottle. All this stuff you can change around. So the menu section is pretty robust. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can have, as I believe, up to, I think it's 12 different menus that you can have in here. So like you could have, like I said, if you have a full restaurant, you could have starters, mains, desserts, a wine list, a beer list, um, cocktail list, all that stuff is available to you. And everything is editable. You can just go start from scratch and create your own or just import one of ours and alter it. Um, everything you can change. So that's it for our menu section. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.